Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Chief, for that clarity. Um, although it's certainly not my role to, you know, advise the, the fire department on its, um, you know, the scope of its legal um, abilities, it, it does strike me that uh, the fire department could, at a certain point, declare the, uh, the location unsafe. Uh, from a fire safety perspective, but that's that's really not the main thrust of, of what I wanted to say. In my earlier comment, I asked questions about the composition of the tenants in the building, and I did so because um, both um, the Americans with Disabilities Act, Title I of that federal statute, and the Federal Fair Housing Act both address uh, the the requirement. It's not a it's not a nice guy thing. It's not a if we feel like it or if it's not inconvenient or too expensive for us thing. Uh, the requirement that uh, accommodations be made, uh, that um, accessibility be assured uh, for individuals who have different abilities uh, from others. And so while I appreciate that all kinds of circumstances uh, could very well affect how quickly those replacement parts come for the elevator repair, um, at the same time, I'd, I'd like to put out there to everyone in this meeting that there may be a point in time where it's simply not reasonable uh, to expect that the occupants of this building um, would just be stuck waiting that the reasonable accommodation at that point could well be the requirement that um, for the the rent that they're paying for um, accommodations that should be accessible and amenable to their conditions, um, that those accommodations might have to be changed, that they could in fact need to be moved somewhere else. And this is just, you know, this is just one of many possible scenarios, but I think that uh, all of this goes to the absolute necessity of extending an invitation to Apex White Pond LLC and any other entity that's been involved in the rental maintenance or management of this facility. This is a different kettle of fish, if you will, where you have a uh, a location that is dedicated to the housing of elderly and disabled individuals. Um, this is not, oh gosh, um, the elevators are not working and we're inconvenienced. Uh, for those of you who happen to see the coverage in area newspapers, a photograph cop, uh, captures a moment where a disabled individual is, um, is actually seen um, awkwardly trying to make his way up the stairs in a way that federal law and state law and local law has made clear um, he's not expected to have to endure. This is a, a photograph that, that was published. And, you know, here's the thing. We can certainly be reasonable in our acceptance of the idea that efforts are being made to fix this. But reasonable cuts both ways. And I think that it is probably more than reasonable uh, to ask that, um, that this business entity and their management come and talk to Akron City Council about what's going on there. Thank you.